Hello and welcome to another episode of Food Tech 101. Now today we're going to make some muffins. Now muffin is kind of seen as a type of a cake but really depending on what you put into it it could be really really healthy. So today I'm going to make some apple, carrot and raisin muffins. Now normally I'd make these with wholemeal flour but I've kind of run out but even so you get the idea. Now with all these recipes that we produce on Food Tech 101 the idea is to take is to be able to take the basic recipe but then modify it any which way you like. Before we get started, just do me a quick favour. Click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Okay, let's get to it. For this recipe you will need 240 ml of milk, a plant-based alternative can be used, it works just as well. You will need 90 ml of oil, vegetable oil. You will need 100 grams of sugar, for this particular recipe I've used dark brown muscovado sugar. You will also need 250 grams of self-raising flour, plus about 2 teaspoonfuls of baking powder. This recipe also calls for one egg. Although an egg replacement or egg alternative can be used. For that you can use aquafaba or ogs. I make call ogs. They do a good egg replacement. Now that concludes the basic ingredients. Additionally, for this particular muffin, I've added a little bit of cinnamon because I like it. Uh, some dried fruit, some apples and some grated carrot. Roughly speaking, about 150 to 200 grams maximum. Now this is a really, really easy recipe because it's an all-in-one. Now whenever, whenever I say that inside a class, kids say, oh, so we're doing it right, what to put in next? I said, listen, dude, it's an all-in-one recipe. Yeah, so, but, so I, do I use this as well? I said, it's an all-in-one recipe, which simply means you put all the ingredients together in one. So the basic, the basic recipe is this. You've got your flour, you've got your sugar, if you want to make it sweet, you've got some oil, and you've got an egg. Egg is, I would say, is optional but it does help with the consistency. You've got an egg. That's your basic recipe. Now into that, because I'm making a sweet one, I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon. Who doesn't like a bit of cinnamon? I'm gonna put some raisins. And then I'm gonna put a chopped up apple. And I'm gonna put a chopped up carrot as well. This is really quite a healthy, what we call, a breakfast muffin and all I'm going to do is mix all the ingredients together really well that's it it's a really simple recipe just mix all the ingredients together okay we've mixed all the ingredients together and it really doesn't take very long no real science to it just make sure it's all mixed together evenly after that the only real skill is to make sure that we portion out our muffins equally. So we want to make sure they're all about the same size. So start off with a size that you're happy with and then for the first one and then make sure all the others are the same size. If you don't get quite as many out as you want that's okay as long as all the ones you do have are the same size. If one muffin is filled and the other one is quite low then while one muffin is burning the other one isn't cooked. So you've got to make sure that they're the same size so they can cook at the same rate. So let's do it. Get a spoonful, a big spoonful, and portion it right into the middle. So I'm gonna try and make sure each one's filled about that much. Big spoonful, right in the middle. Make sure each one's filled about the same. Now they will rise, so I'm leaving them a bit of space to rise, but I'm trying to make sure they're all about the same length. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill all these cases. Okay, I filled my muffin cases. Now, I, I filled them quite big, so rather than make one tiny little one at the end, I made sure they were all evenly shaped. But a little tip, before you put them in the oven, if there's any mixture that's gone inside the tray, then wipe that off before it goes in the oven, otherwise that'll just burn and make it much harder to clean when it comes out of the oven. So just make sure you clean any areas off your tin before they go in the oven, all right? He's gonna go in the oven and they're gonna bake for about 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes until they're fully puffed up and brown, golden brown and springy to the touch. 
So here are these bad boys fresh out of the oven and they look amazing. Now to tell if they're cooked or not, if you just give them a little pat, they should be firm and springy to the touch. And if you leave them to cool, they will set. If you try and take them out of the case too soon, uh, it'll just stick to the case. But if you leave them to cool, they should be good. Okay, our apple and carrot and cinnamon and raisin muffins uh, are fresh out of the oven. They smell good. When you use a deep brown sugar, like a muscovado sugar, it completely changes the taste profile. You get a completely different flavor coming out of it because white sugar only really gives you sweetness. It doesn't really give you much flavor, but the brown sugar, the sticky stuff, that has a real character all of its own. So let's see what this thing tastes like then. It's nice, it's quite soft. Let's, let's break a little bit. Really nice and soft on the inside. If you look closely, you can see uh, the cooked apple. You can see some flecks of carrot and the raisins. Let's see what this thing tastes like. Oh. Mmm. That really works. You can really taste the apple. You can really smell the muscovado sugar. The carrot just gives a little bit of texture. And the raisins give a little burst of sweetness. Really, really good. Mmm. Excellent. And there we go. Simple, healthy, really tasty. What I like about that, because you cut the apple in chunks, you get a little burst of apple coming through, a little burst of raisins. The carrot, you don't really taste the carrot, it has a little bit of sweetness and a little layer of texture, another way to get a vegetable in. Really simple, really tasty dish. Now the beauty behind all these dishes is that what I really want from you is that you take the basic recipe, but then you experiment. The sky's the limit in terms of the variation. Just take the basic recipe and you can modify it any way you like. So there we have it, simple breakfast muffins. Easy, quick, tasty. Remember it's an all-in-one recipe, so you just put all the stuff together, mix it all up and portion it out evenly. Bake for 20 minutes, boom, there you go. Really simple to make. And there we have it. Once again, thanks for watching Food Tech 101. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Press, press that bell icon, 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 so you don't miss a single episode. As always, my name is Mr. Lieber, but you can call me Sir.